I'm starting a social media marketing agency from zero with zero dollars and I'm taking it to over hundred thousand dollars per month and in this series I'm showing you everything that I do step by step click by click in today's video we're going to talk about the client sub account and the snapshot that we need for that and you will be able to get the same snapshot for your agency as well if you want to let's dive into it so I'm inside of my computer let's go let's discuss the client sub account snapshot so in this video today you will be able to import the high level snapshot that we're going to use for our client so you can get it use it for your clients the funnels the websites the automations the whole shebang i've spent a tremendous amount of time money and resources getting this snapshot together like millions of dollars in ad spend and we've made millions of dollars in return for our clients using these exact same settings and this is actually the first time that i shared and i gave it to you for free you don't have to pay me a single dollar for it so we're going to cover that then we're also going to cover the website and the form so i prepared a local business website template that you can offer for clients as well if you want to just to add some extra value you. We're also going to talk about the lead funnel and the survey, basically a proven and powerful lead and booking funnel for local businesses. And you can adjust the survey and you can A-B test this. I've shared a variation of this inside of the free SMA course as well. I'm also going to show you a bunch of different automations that you can adjust so that they fit your client's businesses. And I'm going to go through this carefully with you guys today. Custom values, we're going to adjust the placeholders. And also notice that all of these placeholders are basically used in the funnels and in the automations. So you will have to make a little bit of your own diligence to actually go through all of the settings in the snapshot and i'm sure you can do that if you know high level it shouldn't be any problem at all we're also going to talk about custom fields so if you want to have custom questions inside of your high level form you can adjust these settings or if you use for example growth form you can use that instead if you want to as well but this is everything that we're going to go through today it's quite a bit so first thing you do is to go to maxpearson.com slash agency dash client dash snapshot you can find a link in the description as well then what's going to happen is that you're simply going to import this snapshot into your account so i'm going to click on yes import now once that is done under account snapshots imported snapshots you will see the maxpearson.com dash agency client snapshot so now what you can do is whenever you onboard a new client for your smma then you can simply set up the account with the snapshot so let's do a test here i'm going to set up a sub account and let's say i have a new client and i'm going to create a new sub account for this then you can go to imported snapshots i'm going to use the agency client snapshot right here then you can obviously search for a client to set up the account i'm going to add this manually once you fill out the information i'm just going to click on save and now when we're inside of the actual snapshot or sub account let me show you exactly what i've set up in here and i assume that you already know high level if you don't then start this series from the beginning or you can go through the free smma course as well obviously nothing special in conversations nothing special in calendars neither however under the opportunities tab we have six different columns essentially we have lead scheduled appointment if they no showed if they got an estimate that we need to follow up if we actually made the sale or that they were actually doing the service delivery again this is a snapshot for the local business and then also request review and direct mail here you can do an integration with a direct mail service like dope marketing for example but let's start off with the funnels so inside of the funnels you will find a lead funnel that you can a b test that we've spent i don't know how much money we've spent into this design it's super simplistic but it works like a charm and if i open up this in a new tab now we're not going to have any colors because we haven't selected any colors yet so let's actually do that first before we dive into anything else so i'm going to go into settings and then under custom values you will find some different custom values here color one and color two i am just gonna select color one with a hex value of black and then for color number two i'm gonna select a red color we have a black and a red now if we go back into the funnel now again and if we present it we will see that we have the correct colors it's a super simple landing page want a new roof and 500 cash your home may qualify for our showcase program takes it this free 30 second roofing quiz enter your information below to see if you qualify then we have a simple form this is a high level form however you can replace this with a grow form if you want to but we ask them are you the homeowner and we ask them roughly how many square feet is your home we ask them when would you like your home service to be performed or installed here you can change this to roofing obviously in the next 30 days what is your street that is you put in the street city and then postal code like so and then we ask them for their name and then finally we ask them for their email and then at the end we ask them for a phone number and then they can click on submit once that is done we're going to redirect them to the booking page so let me show you what that looks like so it's a simple scheduling page that looks like this we just have the logo here to the left it's not showing up right now because again we don't have a logo inside of the actual account schedule an estimate we have the phone number to the actual business and in here is the local business calendar page super simplistic but works like a charm and the best thing 
about this funnel is that you can a b test the different options here so you can for example change out the background image and you can run an a b test and this is how we can take a landing page from 10 percent opt-in rate up to 20 25 percent without changing anything with the ad so we can basically double the amount of leads that we're generating by just a b testing two different background images so that's the local lead funnel also in this account you will find a website so normally we don't use this for our client because our clients normally already have a website but this is something that i wanted to include in the snapshot if you want to resell this to your clients so as you can see here we have a fully functional local business website and we have some roofing images and videos here right now we have some testimonials as well so it's just a fully functional website included in the snapshot as well and you can find and adjust this to whatever sub niche if it's a roofing company or solar company or plumber or gym owner whatever type of business it is it's going to work for any type of local business out there so you can basically take this and resell it to your clients and you can make some extra money so we have a simple home page about page contact page scheduling page thank you page and then privacy policy and terms as well now if we go into the automations it's packed with a bunch of different things so we have three different folders in here we have sales pipeline marketing and generic so if you start with the sales pipeline here we have eight different automations we have a new lead fast five so this is basically whenever we generate a new lead this automation will kick in i will show you that in a sec we'll also have an appointment confirmation reminder and survey so i'll show you that as well no show appointment got estimate follow-up closed sale we have a review request plus direct mail automation lost opportunity removed from workflow and then nurture campaign as well so if we begin with a new lead fast five this is actually an automation that high level has provided but basically whenever you generate a lead we will send an internal notification to the actual local business and they will also get a notification inside of the app we'll send out an email to the homeowner and a text to the actual client and then we wait for a reply for two minutes and then we see did they reply to this text or not if they do reply and if it was a positive response then we're basically going to send a booking link with text and a call connect and we're going to wait for a day and then follow up with the text again and if they respond negatively then we're basically going to tell them that no worries here's the link to book this service grab any opening that works for you and we'll explain everything in detail for you and then we have a link to the calendar here and you will see that we have the placeholders here the custom values throughout all of the messages so that you don't have to really change anything and the initial question that we ask them up here by the way is have you ever experienced this service before so whether they respond yes they have or no they haven't we're still going to text them a link to book a call and we're going to do a call connect where basically your client is going to get a call and then that call is going to get connected to the lead and here it says you have a new lead from home service obviously you will have to change this to your specific business and uh, also rebranded from home service to roof max so we would have to change that as well so the really powerful thing with this fast five is that we're going to hit the lead immediately with both text email and calls so that we make sure that the actual business owner or the local business owner that they get in contact with the lead as soon as possible to increase their chances to actually close this client because if a lead doesn't get contacted by the business immediately then they're off to the next one essentially so that is the first automation that you get inside of this snapshot also appointment confirmation reminder and survey so this one is pretty cool as well and basically it's just a normal confirmation follow-up 24 hours before the appointment one hour before the appointment but then also what we do one hour after the appointment is that we send out an internal email to the actual business owner and we ask them how did the appointment go and then we have trigger links inside of high level where they can basically click yeah they showed up and they paid for the appointment or they showed up but they weren't interested or they showed and they got the estimate or they didn't show up so we have three different buttons in this email and depending upon what link they click on this email we will take them to different stages inside of the sales pipeline so let me show you so if you go into marketing and then we go to emails and then templates then we have a bunch of different templates but under internal notifications we have the appointment follow-up so this is the email that the business owner will get sent to them every single time after they've had an appointment and here you can see how did the appointment with the contact or the lead name go so they can click they showed up and purchased they showed got estimate they need follow-up they showed but are not interested they didn't show and each of these buttons they have a trigger link right here so this link will basically go to a specific page like a landing page so if they click they showed and purchased it will go to a landing page but if they click for example they showed got estimate and needs follow-up then what's going to happen is that that lead in the sales pipeline here is going to move automatically so if they no showed it will move automatically to the no show stage if they bought it's basically done we will mark the lead as one down here and if they were not interested then we'll just mark them as lost essentially so it's a pretty cool feature with this automation the appointment confirmation reminder survey is that after each appointment we're going to send an email to the local business owner and ask 
ask them how did the appointment go. Then we have a simple no-show appointment automation as well. So this is basically just a follow-up to get the lead to actually rebook a new appointment. We have a closed sale. So if we close the sale, we're just going to mark them as one essentially. And then after 60 days, we're going to send a review request unless they do it before that. We have a nurture campaign, a lost opportunity as well. So a pretty value stacked sales pipeline automations there. Then under marketing, we have a full reactivation campaign here as well. So if you want to do reactivation for your clients, you will have a full automation here that we've made a ton of money with for our clients. So this is like the real deal. It actually works in the real world. So you can test that. We have that fully stacked out. And then also under generic, we have the Facebook conversion API integrations. That is something that you can learn inside of the free SMA course as well. But we have a ton of automations. And then under marketing as well, we have some email templates as well. We have generic automation emails, internal notification, nurture campaign, and appointment reminders. We have custom designed appointment reminders. So we have appointment confirmation email. This is what goes out to the actual homeowner or to the lead. So we have a custom design for that. We have the same thing for 24 hour. Looks professional. They can click different buttons to add it to their calendars. And we have the same thing one hour before. Generic automation emails. Here we have a no-show appointment. Good estimate to follow up. New lead confirmation. So whenever you get a new lead, we are following up with the homeowner and we are branding this with a logo and the colors here. Right now it's not showing any colors in the footer because we have the custom color that we have as a custom value. But it's going to look really good once it actually gets sent. Then we also have internal notifications here, right? That we just talked about. So for example, when you get a new lead, your clients are going to get an internal notification with the name, phone number, email, and address of the new lead generated. So we just have some custom designs for that to make it look a little bit more professional and look better so that the experience for our clients just comes better essentially. We've also prepared a bunch of different templates here or snippets that you can use to live. So we have lead reactivation, different messages here or in different offers that you can send or that you can utilize for your clients. So for example, hi, Florida homeowners, listen up. ABC Roofing is offering exclusive discounts on our services to five lucky homeowners. Don't miss out. Reply with yes to this text to claim your spot among the lucky five. Act fast. This offering won't last long. So we have different offers here that you can utilize in your reactivation campaigns. And all of these ones have made a tremendous amount of money. So I highly recommend that you consider them and test them out as well. Then if we go into the surveys, this is a super simple survey that we've used for our local roofing clients that has made a tremendous amount of money for them. It's a super simple survey. You know, we asked them, are you the homeowner? It's basically the survey that I showed you earlier in this video. Roughly how many square feet is your home? We asked them, how would you like the home service to be performed or installed? Or you can change this to the roof. What is your street address? Say the postal code, first name, last name. And then what is your email address? And then what is your phone number? We're definitely going to test out this survey for our new clients coming up now as well. But we will also definitely be using Growform as well that I've talked about previously in this course. But really the most important thing when you do a service for a local business owner, it's really just the opt-in rate on the actual lead funnel and then having a high conversion landing page. And to do that, you need a simple minimalistic design and a good looking form and a form with good questions, a good offer on the page as well. And then obviously you need a good ad to bring more people to this specific page. So either if that's a Facebook ad or YouTube ad, right now I'm rebuilding the free SMA course and it's going to be launched here now in just a couple of weeks. And also Max Premium is going to be launched where we're going to teach people how to do YouTube ads and how to do Facebook ad click by click, step by step. And if you ask me, YouTube is really the future when it comes to advertising. So as it's looking right now, we're going to go all in with YouTube ads specifically for roofers. And I think it's going to be pretty awesome. So that is basically the client sub account snapshot that we're going to use for our clients. And again, make sure to click the link below this video and download this snapshot to your own Go High Level account as well. Test out the landing pages, test out the website, test out the different automations for your own clients as well. I'm sure you're going to help them to make a ton of money with this snapshot. So hopefully you like it. If you do, leave a comment down below. Let me know if it worked for you and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Let's go.